Alrighty, this week's newsletter we're going to kind of give you a brief description of how to properly port match your intake manifold. We get a lot of calls for this and uh, a lot of people just want to send it in and uh, just for us to scribe out a gasket on it you might want to say and after you get done watching this you'll understand why that really doesn't work real well. So. Uh, first thing is is, is determine the, the intake gasket that you're going to use for the port match. And naturally that gasket has got to be a bit smaller than the opening of the cylinder head. So we've done that in this particular one is a Felpro 1262. This happens to be a set of quick flow twisted wedge heads. So that gasket worked very well. So what we did first is since it's a Prino seal gasket, uh, we went ahead and scraped off the, the printle seal on it and stuff so we get a good impression. You'll see kind of why that later too. So uh, so then we've scraped that off. Now what we've done is, is glued the gasket to the cylinder head. And what we recommend to use is uh, the 3M's got this nice uh, black weather strip adhesive. It's pretty mean. Um, so you put a little bit of that on the back side of the gasket tack it down, uh, especially like on a Ford, there, since the angle of the bolt in relationship to the mating surface is not really uh, 90 degrees, uh, so it kind of sucks it down. What we recommend doing it is putting the manifold on. After you glue the gasket down, install the manifold and just torque it down once. Just to, to seat that gasket, make sure it's down there good. It's not going to move when you do what we call an impression. So we've done that. And then basically after you do that, then go ahead and trim it. So you can see we've trimmed it right to the uh, intake opening. Now this is really, really crucial. What you don't want to do is like lay that, that cut edge down. You want to be 90 degrees basically to this, this floor, your, your blade or, or, or parallel you might want to call it. So this edge is 90 degrees to the runner. So you have a nice distinct line there. So that'll be impression uh, important for the impression that we're going to get. So once you've done that, then uh, we'll go show you the next procedure. Okay, next step. Now put your manifold back on. And basically what you want to look down is, is on an open plenum manifold like this, you can usually see the four intake runners, uh, short runners. So align those up the best you can via naked eye. So do that, and then what you want to do is do a little scribe mark, like with a pencil, you see right here, so you know exactly where that's at. And that'll be important for the next procedure. Okay, the next step you want to do is basically take some bluing, impression blue is what it's called. Dicom high spot blue. Uh, get it in your machine shop and stuff. So take a little acid brush. Uh, like this and just dab it on the gasket there just kind of like that okay so then on the manifold what you want to do is, is take some dicum and red dicum is what you want on it so just highlight that and you'll see why here after the next procedure we do why why it's red and why it's blue okay now what we've done is uh, set the manifold on so those marks you originally made right there so what you want to do is guide that manifold down to where you just instantly plop it down on those marks and you do not slide the manifold whatsoever that's going to definitely as you can envision mess up your your bluing and stuff so that's why those marks are crucial so and uh, at the end you'll see why too so um, so basically do that and then torque it down to the specifications that you're going to torque it to Okay, now we've basically made the print. And what you want to do first is look to see how your print came out. Uh, basically front to rear, you know, naturally since the port was smaller than the, than the runner uh, in the cylinder head, it's kind of hard to see that. So you would just want to make sure that print is good. And, and basically what you want to look at is like on this side here, you can see we've got a pretty good uh, offset there on that wall versus that, but then you come to this side and we're right on the borderline of having enough material to line it up. So we have it pretty well centered as much as we can possibly do uh, with the given port alignment of this particular combination. So that's good. So now the next procedure we'll, we'll show you here. 
Okay, now the next procedure you're going to do is, is basically scribe it. As you can see, what we've done here is right on that bluing line, you see that? We put a little arrow. And put on all the floors, rough, and two on the sidewall. Then wipe the bluing off. And then what you got is a, a nice scribe mark line that you can draw your lines on. The, uh, we'll draw all the floors together and all the roofs together and then we put two of them on the side walls and use those. So now you've got a direct impression of that port exactly onto the manifold. That's what you want. Okay now we have went and drawn our lines as you can see scribed them in nice and bright. So what you want to do too is then as, as you do that is measure all of it, the openings and make sure it's all consistent that you didn't have uh, an impression that really wasn't precise. So uh, we've done that and everything looks good. So now we'll send it to the porting room and they'll do their number on it. Uh, or you can send it to your porter, whichever works good for you. Uh, a couple things you kind of want to try to keep in mind uh, when you're having it done or you're, let's say you're going to do it yourself, you know, is really in a manifold, one of the most important walls of the manifold is what we call the short side runner. So that's the shortest distance from the carburetor flange to the opening. So that this is a short, that's short, that's short, that's short. Those are the ones you really want to pay attention. Like you can see there's a good bit to come off of, off of this short, but really not much off of this short. So kind of thing you, you what you don't really want to do is just abruptly put a 90 degree, you know, just so you have a, a abrupt ledge going back in the runner. Lay that runner back as much as you can type situation. What, what that does is really the fuel follows all the short runners uh, in, in a great part. So uh, short runner ru floor. So you, you, if you kind of make a sharp angle there it's going to disturb that fuel um, type situation. So that's just kind of a tech tip to keep in, in mind there. Okay, well, the porting room got the job done here. Did an extremely nice job, as you can well see here. Probably one of the best porters I've ever seen in my long history. Kind of what we were telling you in the uh, in the previous clips, uh, a little tidbit there on the short wall, you know, laying it back and stuff. And as you can see, if you look here, you can't see any of that short wall. So if you're you get your manifold back from somebody and all of a sudden this, this line is right here and you can actually look 90 degrees down and you can see that wall, it's really kind of not what you want. So um, just a FYI there, you might want to say. So uh, we'll go ahead and flop her on there, kind of give you another visual look of it. All right, we've got it on there. And if you, uh, if you remember in one of our previous clips there too, we, we put those pencil marks here to line the manifold off so it just makes it easier to naturally line it right up right away so kind of give you a nice shot here of uh, what this looks like and there again we're talking about that short wall you can see as you lay that short walk wall back basically from the carburetor to the valve it just shortens that distance up so that's something the manifolds definitely like um, type deal uh, some of the design works of manifold have to do with volumes. That's kind of why they curve it and things of that nature. Uh, but one of the things that seems to always, always work is laying that wall back and keeping that uh, 90 degrees to the mating deal or, or less angle so you can play around with that. So, alrighty. Well, that's pretty much it. So, uh, if you need us to port match your manifold, now you know the process of. of of lining it up and printing it everything of that nature then you can send it to us we can grind it for you or you can send your cylinder heads and manifold we can do that process the correct way so uh, stay tuned uh, we're gonna probably take this to the dyno and do some manifold testing on it that'll be a newsletter coming out so uh, stay tuned for that and we greatly appreciate you watching these and if you got any comments suggestions Please do not hesitate to contact us. We're here to educate you and us. So uh, more than glad to, to uh, 
do something that you're interested in. So give us a holler. Thanks for watching.